guys welcome back to the channel i know i know i've been missing i had a really terrible lupus flare but i'm back i'm about to show y'all how i do these struggle brows girl look at them things but that's okay y'all know y'all know i'm gonna make it do what it do and we're gonna be using one dollar products from shop miss a these are their slim brow brow pencils and their brow gel AOA Studio, one dollar. It ain't period. Let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna see me doing is trying to brush up the brow hairs. I mean, they look better if you have your eyebrow hairs a little bit that you got. <laughs> going in the same direction i was going to go in with the dark brown one but as you can see baby rest in peace it's done <laughs> okay i don't use that thing up so we're gonna go in with the ebony and we're gonna you know try to fill in these brows I start off by making some small hair strokes to try to connect the hairs and fill in the sparse pieces. This is my good brow. This is always the brow that comes out the best. If you have, uh, you know, thin brows, then you know it's always one that want to act up. So we're gonna start off with the one that don't act up. <laughs> We're gonna let her shine today, okay? I'm just fixing my light. And I was watching a show. You're gonna see me turn around and look at my show. It's a show on Netflix called Manifest. If you haven't watched it, check it out. It's pretty interesting and I really like it. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and gonna carve out my brow shape. It's very easy. My eyebrows used to be really thick and really pretty before chemotherapy. So I kind of know my brow shape by heart, kind of, because I always get my brows done. So you just follow the shape that you want. Then I'm going to do the top. You know what I'm saying? Smooth it out. And it's starting to look like something. You see what we, you see what we got going on. You see. You see what's happening. I'm not really into a sharp arch. I really like the arches of my brows to kind of look rounded out. But I like the tail of my brow to be sharp. To me, it just looks better with eyeshadow. But that's just me. Do yours however you want to. Period. They doing something and we just gonna come back and try to like, you know, we want to use the little bit of brow hair that we do have to make this look like a real eyebrow. You know, you just don't want it to look like it's just been drawn on. It has been drawn on, but you don't want it to look like that though. <laughs> so we're gonna come in with the brow gel. And what this is gonna do is also help with the sparseness because the brows can be very short and the hairs are not long enough to be beside one another. So you have to connect the dots, baby. I'm going to put some of that on the back of my hand. I'm going to take my spoolie and just take that through the brow hairs. And as you can see, it's going to darken up those little holes and things you see. And it's gonna bring everything together. See what I'm saying? Trust the process. Because me and Bob Brown, we don't know each other. I mean, we know each other, but not when I got my makeup done. I don't know her. <laughs> so you just keep brushing that in, brushing it in. If you have thick, beautiful brows, you do not have to do this unless you just want to. 
because this this brow gel when it dries it stays on so let's say you went and got your eyebrows shaped and you wanted to keep it keep them done keep the hairs laid a certain way you could use this you don't have to have ball brows to use this yes honey and it stays on because I went to sleep this night and woke up and the brows were still popping get you some shop miss a one dollar this is AOA Studio Brow Gel. I'm actually using Ebony. Girl, that ponytail is itching, child. Huh? Had not started growing, trying to do a little something. Don't y'all worry about it. <laughs> so this is my little brush that I got from Michaels. Get you one if you do cut creases. You can also use these to conceal your brows. I usually don't do too light of a shade underneath my brow but I know when I conceal the top of my brow I try to use foundation or concealer as close to my skin tone as possible we don't want that floating brow look we don't want that we don't know her see the show was getting good y'all mm -hmm. so we're just gonna conceal this now, any little hairs that are sticking out or even if the shape isn't to your liking you can fix that here conceal that thing blend it out you see what's going on I'm going to use one of my shop Miss A brushes and I'm just going to blend it out please don't sleep on their brushes because they're a dollar don't cheat yourself treat yourself they got some good brushes. And when they, I'm using Neutrogena Skin Clearing Foundation. I think I have the shade Natural Beige and Caramel that I'm using. Caramel is my skin tone shade. So I'm going to use that on the top. Look at that. Such a pretty foundation. And I never even used Neutrogena before. Shout out to my cousin Jackie for bringing this foundation period boo boo and we're just gonna carve out and shape it and make sure everything is crisp and neat look at the other brows like mm -hmm. help help me girl don't worry about it I'm coming over there don't you worry about it I'm on my See how nice that came out? Period. Now, like I said, my brows are not perfect, but I make them do what they need to do. And if you have trouble with your brows, it's just a few little tips that can help you. You feel me? Don't come for me in these comments. You will get blocked. And that's on Jesus' sandals. Period. I don't ever block nobody, though, but... <laughs> I was feeling that brow child, period. And you can just use your little marker to make sure you, you know, everything is where it's supposed to go. Period. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that. For some reason, not that I like a unibrow brow, but I ain't gonna flex. Like, I really like a close, the closeness in between my brows because I used to have really thick brows. So, I like the look of them being close like this. So, I'm gonna just take a little bit of the brow gel that's still in the brush and make me a line. Child, and try my best to let these heifers be at least cousins because they ain't never sisters. We at least want them to be in the same family. You know what I'm saying? Same family tree. If you do your brows and your brows come out as twins, <laughs> sis, I applaud you. Because to me, it never happens. There's always something going on. But luckily, my eyeshadow is always so nice that I don't get a lot of people who notice that the brows be off. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 
and you see this brow is like just tore up on the floor but I'm gonna use my same method I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna carve the shape and I'm tr and I'm looking in my mirror because I'm trying to make sure that they at least look like they're the same shape at the bottom and then I'll try to match the shape of the top making me another little line and even after I make the lines majority of the time y'all the brow tips still one be up higher than the other one so you don't have to do it if you don't want to but it can be helpful sometimes sometimes it won't be helpful <laughs> It's a gamble with me because a lot of times I'll be like, you know what, these brows are just not going to act right. I'm going to do my eyeshadow and I'm going to go ahead by my business. I'm going to go ahead by my business. I don't have time. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for the stress. But we're going to keep going. You see, I'm trying to fill in my brows. Y'all excuse that scar on my forehead. I actually got an infection on my forehead from some wig glue. I ain't gonna tell y'all the wig glue brand, but when I say I'm gonna stick to spraying hairspray on my wig and gluing my wig down like that there, <laughs> that's what I mean. The glue he adhesive and all that is not for me. But anyways, back to these brows. You see me noticing that that one brow is acting up already, child. She like, nope. Nah. I ain't gonna act right. So I'm just filling in, filling in, filling them in. Don't be scared to fill them in, too, because you can always take makeup wipes or makeup remover and you can clean up what you mess up. So, you know, fill them babies in. Fill them in. Fill her in. More brow gel. Show is getting good. Y'all better check it out. I'm going to tell y'all no lies. The show is good. So we're going to take the brow gel and we're going to repeat the process. Try to fill in all that baldness. You see it. You see them bald brows. You see them. And y'all don't even be looking at my mole. I mean, had that mole for 36 years. Act like you don't see him over there in the corner. <laughs> that ain't your business. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. See, we got our makeup wipe, and I'm trying to clean this up to the best of our ability. And this part can really make or break you because it probably broke me several times, including this time right here because I didn't like my brow. But it's something that can help you when you overfill. So you can clean up everything easily. But if you accidentally wipe off too much, child calls are dry. The only reason why I ain't wipe these off and go to bed is because I had to do some makeup for my TikTok. If you want TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, just search in makeup X La La and follow your girl. It ain't gonna hurt now. It costs you zero dollars to see what's up. It really do. It's free. Come on, child, mole all up in the screen. But you see, it looking like something. We doing something. You know, 
I got mirrors all around me like, we doing it. We doing something. Something had not happened. The tea had got spilled. So I think I'm just going to go in right here and fix that tail in and try to fill in the underneath part that's like really bald. Ain't nothing else I can call. It's bald. Shout out to all my people with the bald brows. Hey, girl. What's up? See, that was very smart. I took my brow hair and I actually brushed it downward and it covered up the little bald spot. I should have already known to do that, but we living and learning out here in these streets. Like I've been doing makeup for mad years, but you learn something new every day. If you think you're not gonna learn something every day, you are thinking wrong. Understand me? So we're gonna conceal this brow that I hated so much. We're gonna conceal her anyway, cause you know, we don't want no, no brow left behind. Mm -mm. Come on, sis. Using that same shop and play brush. It's like my favorite brush to blend out eyeshadow bases, concealer, even nose contour. It's the bomb. Neutrogena foundation. <clears throat> Y'all hear me drinking some? I'm drinking some juice. I've been eating hot Cheetos. Don't judge me. Don't even do that. Don't do that. I'm gonna try to clean up this in. Even the arch on this eyebrow is different. From the other one just because of lack of hair honestly but I'm gonna make it do what it do per usual I'm blend it out my skin looking pretty good in this video let me give myself a shout out hey girl you doing it okay <laughs> you better work period Do a little inner side or whatever. Because I want, I, like I said, I like them to be close. I don't want them to hold hands, but <laughs> I want them to be reaching for each other, if that makes sense. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's just a preference. If you don't like yours like that, by all means, you do not have to. See, those two good looking brows, if you ask me, they're not the same. But. They can do. Okay. And I was not going to wipe that out and start all over again. It was about 4 a.m. A sister was tired. Do you tired with a capital T? Period. You see what we got going? You see? You see? I was feeling them. I was feeling them. I was feeling them. I, I don't know what to tell you. I was I was feeling every piece of these brows. And I know that they're not the exact same. They are not. But my brows, the little bit of hair that I got left is not the exact same. So, 
child. What am I doing? But yeah, these are my little brows. I'm just messing around, checking all the mirrors, being extra, just like always. And sometimes I like to take my brush with whatever uh, foundation is left on the brush and go around the inside to stop it from looking so blocky. But yeah, I was feeling these. I was feeling these. And here's a little bit of makeup that I did. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. I was so tired, but this look came out so nice. And when I photographed it, it was so cute. Period. Yeah, look at these pictures. Ew. Who needs to edit when your handwork is that smooth? Look at me. Thank y'all for watching. Bye. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe. Like this video. Share it with somebody. I don't know. See y'all later.